even if you've never seen the ocean or touched the ocean, the ocean touches you. With every breath you take, every drop of water you drink, it's the ocean, it's the ocean. For me, being a biologist, just following my heart, has led me to some fascinating places. <laughs> What has held my attention all these years, it's life in the ocean. That's where most of life on Earth actually lives. Now, these little guys, and they're several species, they kind of all look alike, but they probably think the same thing about us. As a scientist, I'd love nothing more than being an explorer, discovering the nature of life itself, that sense of eureka. <laughs> well, mostly to go to a thousand feet is really tough to do, unless you have some special friend like this one. It's a wonderful passport into the ocean. Scientists are like little kids who never quite grew up. Don't ever stop asking the who, what, why, where, when, how. Maybe whales and dolphins ask some of these questions, but they may wonder what stars are. And they may wonder what's in the depths of the ocean below where they swim. But only humans have the capacity to really answer those questions. And we think only about 10% of the ocean has been seen or sampled at all. We're just beginning to assess the magnitude of our ignorance. And at the same time that we're learning more, we're also discovering how much we're losing. Oh, there must be a thousand yeah. fish here, more. Giant how do you save the ocean? You find others who have a similar goal, and together you find ways and means of working with people who have the power to make decisions that ultimately result in protection for a place that you love. That's how it happens. All of us depend on these ecosystems, and yes. they're, they're incredibly, yes. Yes. Uh, in some ways they're incredibly resilient if we do the right thing, but they're also really fragile. It's a magical yeah. sight, the endless horizon that just stretches out to blue infinity. You jump in the ocean and there you find happiness. One in every five breaths you take come from this tiny little organism called the Prochlorococcus. They produce 20% of the oxygen in the atmosphere. 